Hey, welcome back. So, so what we need to do now is to to make sure that the order of these uh, categories is correct, that the most popular is the one that comes first, because right now this isn't true. The one that comes first is the one that was created last, so it seems, because there's another category, there's shirts. If we go here, we might see that. So let me go to my category browse. Yeah, so another category, shirts, and so on. So the order is the one that was created last comes first. But we want the most popular. So what do we do? We need to be able to use the view count. So let's go back to our home page here where we are reading our categories. So where is this? So there's data categories here, which says get all. So we need to edit this get all category table. So let me come back here to categories get all. Where are we? right here. So what I want to do is uh, say select all from categories order by, instead of ordering by the ID descending, we want to order by the views descending, which means the one with the most views will be first. Okay, so so far it doesn't help us because every one of them has a zero. So if I refresh now, uh, you see that it just does its random thing from food, to uh, what's the next one here? Shirts and uh, meat. So I think it has gone the opposite direction. It starts with the ascending order now. So I want us to be able to click on one of these and increase its view count. That way we increase its value. And also if you notice here, the categories are in this order, food, cars, which is exactly the order that is here, or is it? No, looks like it's random because the views are just zero, zero, zero. So it doesn't seem to have any particular order here, but let's fix that in a minute. So what I want to do here is create a function called, this is inside the categories class. So I want to create a function. So say public function, I'll call this one add view so that we can add easily add a view to a particular uh, a particular category by its ID, like so. Now we're using ID here, but if I come back to my home page, it's better to use the easiest thing available because here, when somebody is looking for a category here, uh, oh, this is not the category situation, is it now? No. Nope. It is not. So let's find the one that give, gives us a category that we have looked for. Okay, so it's not on this page, actually. It's on the shop page. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go to the shop.php controller. And this is the one that if we get a category, we're going to read it through here. So when somebody clicks on a category, it means they want to see things in that category. So we might as well increment when that happens. So this is where it says category ID right there. Okay, so if is object, then the category ID is category ID. Mm -hmm. Get one by name, cut find, okay, okay. Wait a minute here, wait a minute. So here it seems to me that uh, this function right here, get one by name, is the one that uh, reads from a category. So we may kill two birds with one stone. Instead of creating a new function to handle this, we can just target this function. Once something is read, we can add a view to it. So let's go and find get one by name. Let's go back to the category thing here and let's reduce. If we can avoid creating a new function, let's avoid it. So this is the one right here, get one by name. So once somebody gets this by name, then we want to update it. So once we do this, okay, right here, I'm just going to duplicate this and put a right over here write to the DB. So I don't need this data like so. 
all I want is to say update categories. Set set views is equal to. Now you may think we need to know uh, the view count so that we can add to it, but we can just say views plus one like this. MySQL is going to handle that. So set views is equal to views plus one where, because we need to know where to do this, where ID is equal to, uh, where is this? ID, like so. Okay, limit one. So here I'm going to put ID. And instead of the name here, I want to get from the result set here. So we got one by name here. So the result set is going to be data zero, and then uh, let's point to the ID like that. Okay, good. But we should only do this if uh, data actually returned a result that is satisfactory. So if is array as usual like that, and let's put data in there and then let's encapsulate that. Okay, so like this, we're adding to the views every time this happens. So good, let's see that in action. So I'm going to refresh this, go to my table, and let's see views are zero, zero, zero. And let's try and put, um, hmm, let's put sodas at the very top. So now you can see sodas goes to the top. If I now click on drinks, drinks is going to move to the top okay just like that if i click on clothes just like this so if i click on drinks again it has now two views that way even if i click on clothes it won't really come to uh, let's say shirts it won't really come close to there but uh yeah unfortunately this one is in here so unless i click on all clothes like that then it moves up but you get the idea. So if we see the data in here, it's showing that the view count is changing. So there's two, there's one, there's one like that, which is awesome. So now it means drinks will lead when we refresh our page here. So refresh in the home page and come down here. As you can see, drinks is at the top. So this makes sure that only the top category, the top five categories appear here. Okay. So hopefully that is clear. Now that we have this data over here uh, in these categories like so, we can uh, begin to, to view it here, to add it to this section. So before we go any further, let me just remove this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, this one, and that's an array in there. Okay, great. So what we need to do, go, go back to home.php. Oh, actually, index, this is the, the part. Ooh, low battery. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll have to continue in the next video. So I will see you then.